Hello there, welcome back. Last time I was doing research on the book lover and the habits of a book lover and the slightly strange things that book lovers tend to do. Very briefly in that research I picked up on a, a minor shopping habit of book lovers and decided that I wanted to take that further and observe book lovers when they are in a shopping environment. And I found some some interesting results. Firstly, book lovers have an inability to choose when they are book shopping. Well, there's just so many to choose from. Have you decided yet? Look, okay, this is a decision that could not be taken lightly. They can spend up to two, maybe three hours in the same position picking a book. Book lovers also seem to have some kind of radar when it comes to bookshops. They seem to just know that they're there. Hey, I think this is the bookshop. Can we go in here? How did you know there was a bookshop here? I always know. This radar also encourages and allows book lovers to visit multiple shops in one shopping trip. One book lover that I was observing visited three bookshops in one shopping trip. Three. That was such a good bookshop. Ugh. Finally, we can look in some other shops now. No, there's two more in this town. You just looked in one. They might have different books in them. You just bought loads of books. You don't need any more. One does not simply ignore a bookshop if we are graced with their presence. And as touched upon last time, the book lover also has a lack of restraint when it comes to book shopping. They spend lots of money in one transaction in a bookshop. All of these, please. Are you sure you want to get all of those? Um, yeah. Why wouldn't I? That's a lot of money. They need a home. They don't even really have that much space. I'll make space! Also, when the book lover is shopping, they tend to take on a role of a bookseller, as though they are they are working at the shop too. This can include things like recommending books to people that are there. That's a really good one, you know. Hmm? Oh, do you like it? Oh, I just, um, I read it last week and it was really good. And other things such as organising the shelves. This one doesn't live here. It should be with its friends up here. The book lover has also been spotted staring wistfully at the bookshelves. Oh, you're all so pretty. And also sometimes communicating with the books. You'll all come home with me one day. And finally, the, um, the most important thing is that the book lover, the book lover tends to not get bored when in a bookshop. This can lead to them spending countless amount of time sat reading, staring, choosing, and can spend a good chunk of their day just lost amongst the books. Yeah, no, I'm just in the bookshop. I may be a while though, so go ahead and do the rest of your shopping without me and I'll meet you afterwards. Hello? Yeah, I'm still looking. I might be a little bit longer. Why don't you just go on home without me? I'm gonna be a while. Hello! So you guys really liked the book lover habits video that I did last time and I think one of the main things in that was shopping and as someone who does go book shopping, why am I still holding the pen? As someone who does go book shopping a lot, I do this and I was with my friend the other day and we were talking about it and she was saying yes you definitely do quite a lot of these things and that she helped me come up with some of the things for this video and she said these are things you do. I am now a bookseller but she said before I was a bookseller regardless of which bookshop I was in I would start like putting things in different places like where I think they should go and I just spent hours in the shop and spent loads of money and buy loads of books and I thought I would turn it into a video. <laughs> also working in a bookshop means that I witness book lovers that come into the shop and how they it's really interesting because I think we just all do the same thing at least I hope we do and that I'm not the only one and I'm really weird it's, in, it's really cool to watch like being a bookseller like, seeing other people that really love the same things as you act in the same way as you organizing things or recommending books to other people while they're still chatting and sometimes I'll go over to someone and I'll be like hi like can I help you and then they'll have a book and I'll go that's really good and then another customer will go that's really good too and they'll kind of like have a little chat and I think it's really good and of course I people spending loads of money and buying books and doing those things like it's just book shopping as a book lover is one of the best things let's just put it that way so yeah please let me know that I'm not the only one that does these things and I'm not the only one that can spend like five hours in a bookshop if you're new here I make bookish videos a couple of times a week so if you like to stick around and join us then you can do that and as usual all my links will be in the description below if you would like to come help me on other social medias thank you guys for watching I hope you're doing really 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 well and I will see you next time goodbye